This is my cute little PS3. I bought it around 2009 on my 16th birthday. Well, actually, my mom helped me pay for half of it. Even though I'd gotten my first job a few months prior in order to save up for it, I got fired after a few weeks and had only made about 150 bucks. I was a slow, dumb kid, and I guess it took me too long to slice tomatoes. This is the controller that came with the system, and it's still in pretty good shape. I never had a need to buy another. Anyway, on that fateful day, I was so excited to finally have my very own console that I didn't have to share with my siblings. I didn't even play it that day. Instead, I studied the box intently all evening. Eventually, though, I did get around to playing my um, revered Tomb Raider Underworld. The graphics looked incredibly realistic in this next-gen Tomb Raider game. Regrettably, I only played it for a couple of hours at a time whenever I could, because I had this stupid mentality that I should only play games slowly but surely, in fear that my liking to them would wear off. I also had to get dressed and ready before I could sit down and game, as some sort of respect for the con- The PS3 was my most prized possession for a while. I'd constantly browse the game sections in stores and watched game reviews or let's plays on, news on YouTube. Some of the other games I got soon after the console purchase were Bayonetta, Heavenly Sword, X-Blades, and Untold Legends Dark Kingdom. My physical game library only continued growing gradually though, as well as my digital one mostly due to my constant begging my parents for money. Although, some of that begging only granted me some beatings from my mother. As a result of me thinking that I had to play games slowly, I ended up having this huge backlog that I haven't finished to this day. Most of these PS3 games, I only got so far in, and now I feel it's my obligation to go back and finish them. It's gonna take a while though, because I've also amassed huge collections of other console games. For example, I got a Switch two years ago, and then a Switch Lite, and between the two of them, I have about 400 games now. I also have a PS4, a Wii U, a Wii, a PS2, a PSP, a PS Vita, yeah. 